Well, it's a similar theme to the next thing you're going to put in. Mm. Yes, mosh pits. More, yeah. more violence. So you like getting smashed about. I've, now, I've, yeah. I've seen mosh pits and they don't look like my cup of tea. And the f- fact that I'm using the phrase, they don't look like my cup of tea, <laughs> indicates that I'm not into... Like, I don't think I've ever seen a mosh pit and seen anyone that looks like they drink tea. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, but presumably they have downtime. Yeah, there's. I, I'd say. I'd say there's plenty of tea drinkers in there. There's. Yeah, but it, there's no time to ask. No, no. <laughs> <You're> just <laughs> whacking each other. Do you like? Oh, great! Or breakfast. <laughs> it's a much friendlier atmosphere in there than it would look like from the outside. Really? Yeah, people are looking after each other. There's there's an understanding in there. Like but even for the kind of music you're into. Yeah. And we should point. If anyone doesn't know, you're into like you know, like what's the metal called? It's like. I like all sorts of metal, really. I like, you know, I like thrash metal. I yeah. like death metal. I like metal core. I like, you know, and I really like, you know, hardcore and punk and all of that stuff as well. Yeah, and yeah. just, I, I swore off mosh pits for a bit because I was like, I'm getting too old for this. Yeah. I'm going to end up end up with an injury. Yeah. But Should every just outline what a mosh pit <clears throat> is. For oh yeah. Who know what yeah, sure. Um, just a bit in the middle of the gig where everyone starts running around and and smacking each other about and bumping into each other and pushing and. Just sort of a, a little nugget of aggression right in the middle of the gig. But it looked, yeah, and it's normally like sort of not quite down the front, just a little bit back. A little bit back, yeah. And it's um, the guy that was, um, uh, is he called Jason Momoa? From Momoa. A- Momoa. Yeah. yeah. From Aquaman fame. He was in one recently. And um, that would be me out of the mosh pit if I saw that absolute, guy. Absolutely, absolutely. What? Yeah. The, yeah, the king of the oceans. Yeah. In there. <laughs> um, the, what the leader of the Dothraki? <laughs> yeah. But he he looks so happy in that mosh pit. Yeah. But he, but because he's such a kind of huge, handsome man, he looked like he was doing country dancing. <laughs> so he's going around in this kind of mad circle, and you see the other people in the queue go fucking hell. Yeah, he's a big lad. But that's why I would be. How tall are you? Six, uh, just over six foot. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah. But d- d- but you say people look after each other because yeah. it doesn't look like there's any conviviality in there. It looks like it's kind of I am an Augusta, <laughs> and there's kind of you're yeah, there's, seeing it. there's that. But I don't think I don't think anyone's deliberately putting elbows in on people. No one actually wants to specifically hurt people. So what are you doing then? What's the what just bumping the... into each other, jumping around? There's the circle pit which you just mentioned, where everyone just runs around in a circle, which feels very silly when you're doing it. Because but you're why just going are you for doing a jog. It? What's wrong with swaying? Or just, well, you can't, just you, can't, your knee? you can't sway to that music. You need to do something. Is that, so that's what it... The, the, is it's that a compulsion, you, yeah. So metal makes you move. Yeah, totally. Okay. And move into other people at high speed. <laughs> and it, it's sort of... That's so interesting. So is it like, when you're listening to it, do you listen to metal at home? Yeah. And what, uh, what do you do when you're listening to it? Do you ever like just like bump into your wife? Yeah, yeah, kick the cat, stuff like that. <laughs> but just, um, but like, as it, it's very kinetic music, isn't it? Yeah, I think live it feels different. Yeah. So at home, I'll listen to it, pick up on the nuance because there are nuances mm-hmm. for any doubters out there. Yeah. Um, and just really, I'll really get into it. I'll do like screw face a lot. What screw face? Oh, okay. Like really, really yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but live, like. Quite often, if it's a band I really like and I know the song, I'll be hanging around outside the mosh pit and then I'll be like, no, I've got to go and straight in. Screw face looks very similar to the face you'd pull if you were having a shit after an 11 course. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's got that sound. Do you know what I mean? Are you making similar noises? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what? Um... If people, so if people get knocked over, for example, yeah. as always happens, people will get knocked over onto the floor. It doesn't just carry on. So if someone sees that, they'll push everyone else back, help them up, and then carry on. Oh well, there you go. I didn't. Know I've been that. in mosh pits where people are looking for people's glasses. Okay. People are looking for people's phones. Someone will go, "I lost my glasses," and everyone will be searching around on the floor for wow. people's glasses. Yeah. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. I just assumed glasses were stamped on. Yeah, I mean, they might. You might find them and they're crushed, but I think people will try and help other people if there's been an issue. Yeah. And I know you've spoken about this because your face doesn't suit the music you're yes. into. Yes, yeah, yeah, that is a that's a drum I've beat many a time. And but do you like? Because we all feel that nerve, don't we? First time we go into a pub, first time yeah. we go into like a disco, whatever it may be, nightclub, whatever your place. But for you, going into like a, a metal gig, a thrash metal gig, mm. with a face that screams bloody hell, I love Halloumi. Yeah. <laughs> what is that like because that must be a different level of terror for like an 18 year old kid yeah 
I mean, I think when I was 18, I was a lot more, I would dress the part as well. Right. Okay. So I had a leather trench coat. I had big boots with flames on. Did you? I had dyed black hair and eyeliner and all of that stuff. So I was a bit, I would dress the part a bit more. Whereas now I look a lot more uh, corporate. But that now, presumably there's the added thing of like, they're like, ah, what's that bloke from Great British? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit of that. But also I speak about metal enough. That people know. That people know. And... I've been in mosh pits where I've been running past someone and you see a, a look in their eyes where they're like, yeah, metal. And then they're like, oh, sure. they just suddenly realise who it is and come and speak to me afterwards. But they're oddly sort of counter, and they're not counterculture, but they're certainly, they're on the fringes of the mainstream. Yeah. That's what's so fascinating is the fact that you're into kind of, you're into wrestling and going there. Mm -hmm. And, but then you also, you know, present a BBC food show. Yes, yeah, yeah. But you also go to thrash metal. Yeah. That you, I mean, it's a, it's a real spread. And I love that. Yeah. I love, I, I love the spread. Um, were there, were there types of music that you, that your mates were into and you tried to get into to kind of conform? Because not everyone's into thrash metal. No, you, but we, but at the same time as the Attitude Era, uh, there was a big, big uh, push in popularity of new metal. So it was like when Limp Bizkit and Korn and Slipknot all came out. So they were your gateway drugs. In, yeah, and in my school, like that was actually popular. Right. So we all got into it at the same time. Yeah. But then my personality is I tend to get obsessed with something and want to be the person who's most into it. Yeah. So I went deep. And then by the time I sort of stuck my head above water, everyone else was into Top Loader. Right. <laughs> Such a, it's so funny given the music they do, but Limp Biscuit mm. is, a, is a hilarious name. Yes. Like, we're like floppy digestives. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, you know when you're dunking a, a biscuit in for too long and it just falls in <laughs> and you've got, it, so you've got to pick it out? That's us. Yeah. I mean, I, I always assumed that Limp Biscuit was a reference to Soggy Biscuit. Oh, did you? But... Then I found out it's not, so it must just be my brain. It's, I mean, as far as... Hasn't the world of conspiracy theories changed? Because when we were kids, it was crop circles and soggy biscuit. Those were the two <laughs> things. Like, as in... Do you know what I mean? Like, private school kids. Yeah. That was. I went to a comprehensive school, and the rumour was, if they go to a private school, seriously, they all get around yeah. in a circle, and, and they jack off onto a biscuit, and then they eat it. And the problem is, you can't shake yourself from that Do well I, I went I went to a private school but it was you? a day school so we used to say that about boarding school people <laughs> oh did you yeah, yeah yeah so it all went up yeah yeah I Who's... guess the, what were the boarding school people doing just what's doing the name <laughs> what's the name of the actor that looks like the otter Benedict Cumberbatch yeah because I I saw <laughs> you two have been working together for too long <laughs> but, I, but this is what I mean about things staying with you forever I saw Benedict Cumberbatch in a coffee shop yeah and he ordered a cookie and I sat down. <laughs> like, genuinely, I was going, I was going, here we go. <laughs> right, finally, we're going to get an answer. I'm, well, but if surprisingly, yeah. he didn't get everyone to jack Weird. off onto it. Like, that, like, but they were far of me kind of going, yeah, huh, huh? If it's a good cookie, it should be soft anyway, right? Yeah, so. but, but the point I'm making, but as, as far as conspiracy theories go, it was, a, it was an innocent time. Yes. You know, there was one about like traffic lights stopping at a certain time and they were run by the Queen. But now... <laughs> that one never reached our school. Yeah, the, traf really... the traffic lights were run by the Queen.